Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay video. This game, I've been playing it a lot, I've been talking about it on my Facebook page a lot, which is why I'm making a video on it here. This is actually post-commentary PK Gam here, because it's practically impossible to play this game while talking at the same time because of how much you're jumping around. You can see my feet at the upper right corner there, synced to the music. See? Yeah, you can pretty much get the idea on how to play Dance Dance Revolution. It's one of the easiest games to learn how to play, but incredibly hard to master. <laughs> uh, I can't beat anything more than 15 footers in the new DDR scale, and I can only pass one to 15 footers, so it's probably more like a a hard 14 actually on the rating scale. I don't know, you know, sometimes they misrate songs, but I'll be showing that 15 that I can beat uh, a little bit later on in the video. Actually, the last one, um, I'll also be going over a few DDR tips, like the one you see, never ever touch the center. <laughs> Try alternating feet as you go. It'll save you a lot of energy as well as give you more speed. Like, think about it as you want to put the... I mean, you want to start off on the right foot so that you alternate left, right, left, right, or right, left, right, left to complete patterns without getting your legs all tangled up. Sometimes you have to double step, which means hit two arrows with the same foot in a row, which isn't ideal. And sometimes I just do it out of instinct, even though I could uh, do crossovers. Crossovers are stuff like left up right or right down left, uh, where you turn your body over to the other side to hit the other arrow in sequence. And that's kind of bad technique on my part if I don't do crossovers on patterns like I'm supposed to be able to do. But it's just it's just a thing of the game. Uh, you know how you, when you get into the game, you kind of lose focus at times and get tired, or um, if you're just uh, reacting off of reflex, stuff like that. So that's when mistakes happen, and that's, that's another one of the reasons why I made this video, is to look over my technique to try and improve what I've got. Like, see right there, I should have crossed over for that for those hold notes. But instead, I double-stepped over to it and, and by accident released the down arrow. Whoopsie doo! <laughs> and a couple of those that you've seen there were better off with double steps to keep myself into uh, as good of a, a position as I could. The idea, the way that I like to play, is to keep myself facing towards the screen as much as possible rather than having to turn my head, because otherwise I, I get sort of confused, because I'm not used to turning myself all over the place. I'm, I'm not at that kind of level in DDR, although I can, as I said, finish some uh, fairly difficult songs. 14s and 15s on the new DDR scale, which is about equivalent to um, 10s on the old DDR scale. Maybe hard 9s to 10s, hard 9s to easy 10s. Alright, that, that first song, needless to say, was Haunted Rhapsody, the longer version, not the shorter version. Uh, I just played up the... that was actually the last song that I played in this set of five songs that I'm going to be playing here. I put that one first to show that stamina is not uh, really all that much of an issue for me, as long as I take breaks between songs. That, that's why I reordered the uh, uh, songs that I played here. Uh, Shiny World was actually the... Um, fourth that I played in order as well. Uh, another reason why I reordered the songs here uh, was because the first three songs that I'm playing are songs that I've only played the charts once before this. So these are so this Haunted Rhapsody and the next one that's coming up, which is Pierce the Sky, will be only my second run on it. That way you can sort of get an evaluation on my current skill level, playing fairly blind, if at all slightly experienced on songs. And uh, Shiny World right here, it doesn't look too fast, but it's a rather technical chart, and that's why it's rated a 14. Anytime you see a green arrow between a yellow and a red, or a yellow and a blue, well that's 400 uh, B per minute steps 
little rumbles they got there. <laughs> and you gotta really react to them quickly. Otherwise, it's 200 beats per minute the whole way through. With a lot of crossovers, gallops, jumps, stuff like that. Um, and you'll probably notice by now, but jumps are one of my biggest weaknesses in DDR. Or I should say, rapid jumps are. Uh, like, just watch the second segment right here. See how many I end up missing because I'm not good at jumping? It's... Well, I, I can jump, of course, but rapid jumps are very difficult to do because... You have, you know, because your body's absorbing the impact as you go to the, gr you know, as you fall to the ground, you have to jump off the ground again really quickly and then slam down really quickly. It's not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> or at least it isn't for me. So step jumps and fast jumps in general get me quite a lot. Next one is Pierce the Sky, another second playthrough on it. And this one is probably the hardest of the first three that I'll be showing here and I don't play it all that gracefully <laughs> but I do manage to pass it oh and uh, a funny thing that I should mention as I was making this video here was I was thinking should I put the video of my feet where that uh, video is that you see under my feet you know like overlay it inside that box I thought that would have been a pretty cool little touch but at the same time, that background video, I feel, is pretty beautiful, so I, I didn't really feel like I should cover up something like that. So I just opted to put it over the Matrix-style background there. Oh, and you'll notice I made a mistake there by jumping a little bit too, too quickly there ahead of time, um, because I forgot about that little stop in the timing. As I said, this is only my second playthrough in the song. Look at that! Jumps got me again! <laughs> And I'm also double-stepping the crossovers, which I shouldn't be doing. That's bad technique again. Shame on you, Pika Gam. Shame on you. <laughs> Needless to say, this isn't a video, uh, like, showing an ultra-high skill level so much as it is just to show myself playing it a little bit. Because as I said, I was talking about it before on my Facebook page. And I thought, eh, let's, let's make a little video on it. I, I know the... Uh, some people will like this <laughs> because I, a couple of people I was talking to on Facebook page also play DDR as well, so I thought it would be pretty fun to show off my uh, current skill. And this this ending right here is killer, <laughs> but I did fairly well on it, even though the life bar cage at the top there uh, drifted down to about a quarter or so. But that's okay. And that's another song, you can hear me huffing and puffing, because I had to really push out that ending there. I guess stamina is a slight factor for me for some, for some cases, like the only 14 chart I can't complete in this game is the possession chart because of the rampant jumps that tire me out too much. I can keep up with the jumps, they're about like 150 beats per minute or so, for a little bit, I mean I can keep up with them for a little while, but after when I get to the ending death run of jumps, I'm pretty much too tired to finish, so... But what I was talking about with uh, the stamina thing earlier when I was uh, describing it during Haunted Rhapsody was that the... Uh, uh, if, if I take breaks, I can, you know, recover, I, I mean, uh, I can catch my breath, and then I can play another couple more songs like this. All five of these boss songs that I played here I played in one day, so that could give you a good idea of what I can do once I, you know, recover between the harder songs. Though, of course, I, I don't have the technique to complete the ridiculously hard songs. <laughs> and this part always throws me off for some reason. Even though I know the beat, I, I just, for some reason, can't feel it out when I'm playing it. <laughs> oh, and I should mention as well, these last two songs... Uh, Sakura Sunrise and Valkyrie Dimension that I'm going to be playing are songs that I've played a bunch of times before, so that's another way that you can evaluate my current skill level. And now you can tell that the jumps are really getting to you, because I'm, like, I'm getting really sloppy here. Eventually I'm just going to start skipping middle notes and just do the jumps. Just watch how my feet move. Looks like that. See that? <laughs> yeah, you get the idea of why the jumps tire me out so much. 
And you can hear me breathing quite heavily. <laughs> I have to push harder to finish it, but I can beat that song every time. And now, to, to demonstrate for... Well, I, I, I was gonna say for all... Oh, never mind, I won't even say it, because I was, I was just gonna give something dumb. <laughs> Um, this, this song right here, Valkyrie Dimensions Difficult Chart, rated 15, is mostly stream. There is jumps to it, but you're going to see how well I perform on a song that's mostly focused on stream as opposed to having jumps to tire me out. And you know this song is definitely harder than the last couple of songs that I've played. Just listen to the beat, it's getting slowly faster every four notes or so. This one is so much fun. <laughs> That's why I played it so many times. I don't stand a chance against the 17 or 19 ranked charts on it though. In fact, this song is the uh, hardest official chart in the world for Dance, Dance Revolution games. See that? It's, I don't have too many issues with streams. It's the jumps that constantly get me. Just look at my combo right now. Yeah, I lost there, but that was kind of a dumb loss. That sort of thing happens. I notice that my technique also tends to falter a little bit when I get a little bit frantic to hit the notes. And my feet get a little bit inaccurate when aiming for the panels. Uh, I guess it's a matter of practice getting that down, you know, every single time. And this section right here, you can really tell that I've played this song a bunch of times to get the hang of this beat. Death Run! <laughs> ending and is the video machine gun time oh I got a little off timing at the end there boo PK gam boo <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in another video another random gameplay video walkthrough video whatever Ta -da -da! <laughs> needless to say I was quite pleased there <laughs> I never got an A rank on that song before, so I was quite happy. Anyway, I'm rambling once again.